thing I get asked a lot is uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to you know kind of piece this all together. Um, I, like I said, I really just want to get videos where hopefully it helps somebody out. You know, some new guys or even you know older guys that oh uh, you know do things differently or learn some different uh, techniques. Um, so I'm just kind of keep thinking about there's so many different things to gonna go over so it's gonna take a while but um, and if you have any deal you know whatever ideas just let me know and I'll try to get it in there but um, okay so I get asked a lot about how to you know what I do to prep the bodies um, I do about the same thing really on every body this this happens to be a whistling duck but um, I just kinda go in knife it's more like a like a cone kinda take that out um, I want to kind of get the back side so when the wing bone goes in it can lay pretty flat and if it's if it's standing that that's good if it's flying the you know wire goes in kind of the same effect so um, same thing here just take out like a little cone shape take a little bit out of the um, so the bone will lay down real nice uh, same thing on the legs. I just kind of go in, uh, take out a little chunk, and then that way when the wire goes in with the bone, it can kind of go up there snug. Um, and it's not, you know, if it stays like this, it's a little bit too far outside of the body. So that way, kind of, you know, have a little uh, area for it to rest in there. And then on the tail, I just come in from the top. Uh, make like a little v-notch and uh, so then once I'm putting it together put the tail quills in there I run a wire like 18 gauge wire to kind of push the tail around this area and then from the neck that we made before just kind of go up from the top come out the bottom bend it over take off any burrs so it's smooth and then I'll go over that with hot glue and then like I said so then you can um, position it do whatever um, and basically also it can be tied in and you know glued in and then once it's once it's glued in you can bend it do whatever you need to do but uh, that's basically it so I, I prep all my bodies from geese to all the ducks, swans, pheasants, quail, all that stuff. So it seems to, to always do it right. I use Farabee bodies. I know a lot of people have different bodies or whatever, but that's just what I've always kind of used and I guess what I've gotten used to. So anyway, that's it for bodies.